in class 1b we have the medications lidocaine, phenytoin, and mixolentin. In a normal heart, the electrical current is generated from the SA node and it travels down the heart in a predetermined pathway. If a heart has some dead cells, it can block the normal pattern of the pathway and cause alternative patterns and this results in arrhythmias. The class 1b simply allows the current to go through dead cells or semi-dead cells, which is why we use this medication in patients who had recent MIs. Patients who have myocardial infarction are prone to developing arrhythmias after the episode, and we use class 1b to prevent that. They alter the brain chemistry by affecting the sodium channels, and this results in brain depression and confusion. What is meant by brain depression is the decreased levels of the vital signs, such as decreased heart rate and the respiratory rate. Patients who take digoxin in high doses might have digoxin toxicity, and this can also cause arrhythmias. Class 1b is ideal in treating the arrhythmias that are caused by digitalis toxicity. And if we look at the action potential, we can see that the class 1b affects this phase 0. Use the link below to get access to the full cardiology medications course. The course includes all heart medications, their mechanism of action, the side effects, and the important notes. With every lecture in the course, you will have the external links referencing the updated guidelines, so that you stay up to date and you don't miss anything. You can also test your knowledge by answering the MCQs and the quizzes included in the course. It's an excellent way to stay updated and to remember everything. Thank you for watching.